Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I was shocked by the fact that I had um, a delivery. I had no idea that I was going to get it this early. I thought it was not going to arrive until next week, but this was a Janet Leather um, standard sized ring planner that I ordered back in was either early of March or it was at the end of February. I really can't remember, but I ordered another one to go with my Janet Leather Undyed just so that I could trade it out. Now, I do use this one as a home binder, a home planner, and I'm hoping that with the changes that I made on this one, that my inserts still fit. If they don't, it's not going to be a big problem because I make inserts, I make everything on my own that is in my planner anyways, and I make all of my ephemera inserts and stickers and everything, so I can easily adjust this to, to fit my needs. But this was a custom made, and um, I did open it. I did look at it, but I didn't take anything apart. So what I got was the Janet Leather Brown, and also I changed it at the last minute. I was gonna go with the end dyed on the inside, but I was thinking, why are you going with the end dyed on the inside when you already know what the end dyed is like? Because you have the undyed on the inside and the outside of this planner. So like, what are you thinking? <laughs> so I emailed Petra last minute and I said, Petra, can I please change this, the inside of it, just to be um, the velvet sand, the Janet Leather velvet sand. And she said, absolutely, you know, you just made it in time. And so we will go ahead and put it in so that way instead of it being the outside was Janet Leather Brown and the inside being undyed, she went ahead and changed it to the Velvet Sand. Now the Janet Leather through Vanderspeck is 15%, it might be 10%. I'm going to try to see if I can learn how to edit my videos and put my mistakes in writing below. If not, I will put them in the first comment or in the description, but it's 10% more than the other type of leathers because this is a, a more expensive leather so we have to pay for that cost but i did open this but i haven't like i did open it just to see what it looked like but, so this is what i received and i ordered the janet vanderspeck leather in the standard size and the standard size is more like a, a personal size and I ordered it in the 25 millimeter rings the one that I ordered in my undyed I ordered that in 30 millimeter rings so you can see the back plate is way bigger on my undyed than it is on my Janet Leather Brown now the sizing is going to be the exact same except for when it comes to the rings and also I did not get this widened at all so I'm hoping that my inserts that I have already made up and everything for my home planner also fit in this and if they don't it's like I said it's going to be okay I'm going to be able to make some for that but this one is pretty substantial in weight I mean it's it's not like super heavy, but if you were talking about carrying it around, it would be considered, I would say that it would be considered a heavier planner to carry around than the pocket size, obviously. And the fact that this is Franklin Covey compact inserts, which means that it's a half an inch wider than this, than the personal size inserts. So that also adds, you know, I mean, look at how thick it is. So that also adds some more weight as well, because paper weighs, you know, I don't know how much paper weighs, but it adds to the weight. So this is the what I customized on it. I added the extra snap because when I was, I went out with my husband and I was kind of explaining how this could go a little bit tighter. And when I, when I did that, I said, well, let me take a, a photo and, and mail that to Petra for my next one that's, you know, hasn't been in production yet maybe she can change it so she just she changed it and it was an added cost it wasn't a big deal she just sent me a PayPal invoice I also ordered the flyleaf on this so that was an extra cost too you don't have to order the flyleaf now it comes with the rounded corners I left it rounded I didn't square them out I think it costs an extra 40 or 50 dollars to get them to be um, with the sharp points to be like what they called squared corners so this is what it looks like though on the inside and it 
it is really beautiful. It feels a lot, this leather feels, it does feel a lot like my undyed leather feels to me, which is fine because I absolutely love the way that my Janet leather undyed feels. But this is hopefully going to be something that holds in my hand a lot easier than my undyed one does. And I also ordered the big back pocket. Now the big back pocket is an added cost. So this was a custom that I had done around, um, I ordered it around my birthday, I think. And I think that was probably just a birthday gift to myself. So, but the main thing that I do want to see is if this holds a Franklin Covey compact insert size. If it does, that would be great. I should have probably had her had this taken off completely, had the pen loop taken off, and I probably should have asked her to put it on to this instead. Um, that way the paper doesn't interfere with that, but if it does, that's still okay because I can just put note paper there or I can put something else there to um, kind of lay over it. I'm not going to be too worried about it, but this uh, pen loop is elasticized, so even though it won't fit um, like it's not going to fit a really thick pen right now at this time. You can stretch it out to fit it and just keep it in there for a week and then it will be good. And it will go in and out just fine. Just like I have on my Janet Leather Undyed, I have the Energel Klena pen and it fits in there just fine. It goes in and out just fine and I've trained the pen loop to be about that size. So... If you have a like a fountain pen if you love fountain pens and stuff like that you can definitely train it to be that size or I probably thought like I should have moved it up that way I could have clipped on my pen like a clip like on some of them that I just clip like that and then you know I'll shut it and then it kind of sticks out like that that's completely fine too but for this I chose to keep the silver rings because the gold was just out of my budget. If I was going to order this, I wanted the back pocket versus the gold rings. So let's just go ahead and see if this fits. Um, and if it fits, closing it without... Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, it fits. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. So, oh wow. See, I kind of thought that it would fit the 25 millimeter rings I did not have this made bigger like I did with my undyed I had it made um, six millimeters bigger so that it was 32 millimeters laid flat I didn't have this one resized so I didn't have to pay for that so I saved money when I bought this but the fact that it fits it oh my goodness I'm so geeked okay so the only thing though is that you can't have side tabs which is fine because I don't have side tabs on this anyways I got rid of my side tabs uh, a month or so ago, and I just made myself top tabs, which I, I like, and I use the top and bottom tabs. Um, that's how I use this anyways. And the fact that this is, it still fits without me having to have it customized it, I can't believe that. And I can keep the pen loop on too. I mean, come on. The pen loop. So when this shuts, okay, so when this shuts... It obviously forces the papers forward a little bit, but if you can see that, it's still, yeah, I don't know how I can do this. Maybe I can do it so that way you can see how it looks when it shuts. It still kind of comes over the pen loop just a little bit, but that is not going to bug me. It's not going to drive me crazy, and it's not going to make me hate this, you know, I love it. So yeah, so it does. So if you can see that, if I can bend this away, this would be as if it's laying and snapped closed. So what I'm doing is simply bending the leather and I'm not worried about making marks on it because it'll just jump back. So it comes out to here. My papers are going to come out to here, which is fine, which still doesn't overhang and I can't believe it. So this is the Janet Leather on Brown and the velvet sand now people were saying that the velvet sand looked pink in some batches and it looked in the previous batches looked um, more like a neutral color 
like the undertone I'm talking about. And I don't think that the Velvet Sand to me looks pink. Not it could be, it, just because I don't have anything to compare it with. But uh, it's a nice neutral for me. And this is a nice, I didn't add stiffener either in mine. So this is a nice fly leaf that she made. And it looks so nice. And it covers, and I didn't even have the fly leaf add, I didn't even make it bigger. Because she can make it bigger to help to completely cover up your paper because it's supposed to be a little bit bigger but I didn't I didn't pay that extra money I didn't want it you know it, it didn't bother me if it was a little shorter and it's fine so oh my goodness this is so lovely so anyways with the velvet sand the characteristics of it is it's more of a suede type of a leather so if you can see how this is um how when I rub it back and forth it kind of is like you know, like brand new carpet or a new sofa, a new leather soft suede sofa that you have that you can just like run and and it will either stand up or lay down the fibers well so it will look like darker or lighter. And as this, uh, as this ages, it will probably stay, it won't be as soft and fluffy. It's, it's, it feels like I want to say it feels like suede, but it's a nicer feel than suede. It's called new book leather. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. I should look into that. But the 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 brown is 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 just as soft and silky as my undyed is. In terms of feeling it, the brown feels a little bit like it has more wrinkles to it to me if I close my eyes and feel it, but uh, I did ask for a smooth piece of leather and she definitely gave me exactly what I wanted. She tries to do her very best with what she has and she's so great to work with. She's such a sweet lady. Um, and I mean, I, I ordered first and then I emailed second and then, you know, I... I was fine for five weeks and then I said you know what can I change the leather and I was thinking oh my goodness why did you do that to her um, but because it wasn't put in pre-production yet which means they didn't cut the pieces I was able to do that and she was like yeah that's fine that's it's not going to be any extra because I've already paid the Janet leather premium price um, which was the extra 10% for this leather but uh it's so amazing. So if you ever get a chance to buy a really nice quality um, leather planner, I would highly suggest going with Vanderspeck. Vanderspeck planners are made with such detail to, you can, you can customize whatever you want. You can even customize the way that your pockets look. I didn't customize the way that my pockets looked. I just left it the way that it kind of showed up on the site as what I would get. And and the pocket configurations are perfect for me, but you can change, like if you don't like them like, like laying like this, you can change them to lay so that you can put your cards in sideways instead of up and down. Um, there's so many other different ways that people have customized their leathers and there's some really seasoned people in the Facebook group that have, uh, that have explained every detail that they've had theirs done and they show how their notebook looks inside or how their their inserts look inside so that way you can follow the customizations that they went through so that way you know how much to customize yours by um and it's such a friendly place i mean nobody nobody's there's no drama on it it's such a great group i really enjoy it and um, the ladies there wanted to see what my planner looked like so i think i'm just going to take a picture and show them what this one looks like and it's so pretty I just love the um, Janet leather brown with velvet sand on the inside that is so pretty so anyways I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll see that I'll be able to go back and forth with my undyed and my Janet leather brown for my home binder just to kind of change it up and give it a different look um, I'm not going to be ordering any other planners from Vanderspeck at least this year. Um, we, I'm done. I've got, I've received everything that I needed from them and, but they also have planners without rings. So if you're looking for anything like um, a 
like to hold a B6, slim B6, standard size, um, Weeks, Weeks Mega. They have all kinds of sizes and you can even make your own size. So you can have a notebook leather cover for anything that you love to carry around and help yourself organize your life. So anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a really great day. Bye.